most of the processed food that we find on a supermarket shelf today contains some form of sugar. And sugar can have many different names. It can be called corn syrup, glucose, dextrose, uh, brown rice syrup, or even evaporated cane juice. But these ingredients are all really just variations of sugar. Now, when our children consume large quantities of sugar on a regular basis, they have a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes and they have a higher risk of becoming overweight or obese. And when our children are eating a lot of processed food, it's easy for them to take in too much sugar without really knowing it. Many scientists are starting to think that the large amount of sugar in the average American diet is actually one of the main reasons why we see so many people with obesity and diabetes. Small amounts of sugar are almost certainly not going to cause problems for a healthy child who's eating a balanced diet. But when our children consume too much processed food, then they end up eating too much sugar as well. Also, if our children are drinking sodas and other um, sugar-sweetened drinks on a regular basis, they're much more likely to be taking in too much sugar. Plain water is by far the best way to quench their thirst and to keep them hydrated. Sweetened drinks like sodas and energy drinks and even fruit juices are very high in sugar and because they're liquids, it's easy for our children to overdo it. The fact that fruit juice is on this list often surprises parents because many of us have grown up thinking that fruit juice is healthy and it can be in the right amounts. So a small glass of freshly squeezed orange juice can be a great source of vitamin C and fiber and a really nice way to start the day. But when our children are drinking juice at every meal or as a thirst quencher during the day, then the sugar really starts to add up. Another thing that surprises some people is the amount of sugar in a typical sports drink. We know that it's important for children to stay hydrated, especially when they're active or when they're spending time in hot weather. But for a healthy child, it's usually best to stick with plain water from a clean, reliable source. If we teach our children to see sweetened drinks as an occasional treat instead of as the norm, it can really help to keep their sugar intake in check.